name is Jesse Dillow. I'm a professional magician, cardist, and card collector. And today, we are looking at some playing cards that are live right now on Kickstarter. If you're new here, please subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. The front of the tuck looks like this same Stardust playing cards having two white, grayish lines going all the way around the tuck bottom and top having a dragon very detailed looking dragon hugging a spade pip a very large spade pip and on the side here we have the which looks like a dragon's tail but at the same time sort of like a snake sort of image there and it is on the other side as well like i said this is just a prototype deck so this is not what the final touch will look like I got here a nice close-up of the bottom of the tuck saying prototype V1 2020 all rights reserved there in the middle having the logo developed by Alisa T in Russia and that is what the bottom of the tuck looks like. The back of the tuck looks like this having the back design of the cards which I'll get into later and having a tuck seal and the Sticker, well the seal looks like this having which looks like a fly with wings that are actually heart spades and diamonds if you see down there all like cards laid up which is an awesome card design for a tuck seal and at the top having these sort of leave looking tail things which looks really cool adds to the tuck case I kind of like that and basically that's everything I can say about the tuck case let's get into these cards shall we and it also has spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds on the tongue flap. The back design looks like this. Now, as I said before, this is just a prototype deck of cards, meaning it's not the real thing yet. Um, but these actually feel amazing already. Imagine what the real design was going to feel like. Wow, these are smooth. Anyway, so the back design looks like this, having the dragon's tail pointing this way and another dragon's tail pointing this way, making it a two-way back design. Having the dragon's eye at the top and dragon's eye at the bottom, also making it a two-way back design. Then having heart, spades, clubs, diamonds repeated over, which is a nice little touch to it. Um, but that's pretty much the back design, and it is no border. It is actually a borderless deck of cards, if you couldn't tell already. Um, which, the only downside I have to this deck for being a borderless deck of cards is when you fan it, it's got really no touch, but... Here's the cool part, if you actually take away half the deck and then if you fan the cards out, you actually get these nice sort of like, I think that's a cool fan anyway. It has like a the dragon's tail showing, so if you take away half, it makes a perfect fan for like an Instagram shot or a photo shot, which is really cool. The face cards look like this, clubs, clubs, spades, I really like the red, it's sort of like a nice bright star diamond colour, that's cool, bright, bright red, and how they've put the white in the red, that's cool. So that's the pips of the numbered cards. The face cards look like this. The, now, the face cards are by far, in my opinion, the best part of the deck. The Jack of Diamonds looks like this, having like two bulls facing each other, which looks really cool. Um, really cool design. The Queen of Clubs looking like this, which is 
a really weird design. I'm not even not sure what that is. It looks like snakes with like dragons around the clubs. I can't really explain what that is, but it looks cool. Is that, I think that's like a snake's head there and it's like a crown. Oh yeah, no, that's like a snake and it's a crown and it's like, looks like it's about to bite the club. Uh, King of Hearts, which is two lions facing each other. Which actually makes it like um, not a one-way pit design. It's actually two-way, which is cool. Which means Jack of Spades having a bull. I think that's a bull. Oh, and he's putting his horn through the spade pit. That's really cool. I like that little touch. Uh, Queen of Hearts. Snake there, Jack of Hearts, again another bull, Queen of Spades, a cobra which looks like a snake cobra, uh, King of Spades, and Jack of Clubs, and we're starting again. Actually, I've noticed something really cool. All the queens, all the face cards of the queens are snakes, all the jacks are bulls, and all the kings are lions, which is a nice little touch. So it's like lions, snakes, and li uh, no, lions, snakes, and bulls, which is like a nice little touch to this deck of cards. Ooh, baby! Now, the Ace of Hearts, man, look at that. Look how cool, he's like holding it, opening his mouth. That's actually a really cool design. Uh, again, we have the Ace of Spades, just like the front of the tuck. He's like hot hugging it, holding it. It's like his treasure, you know how uh, dragons, the myth said that dragons are meant to love gold, while it's like he loves the spade pip. Um, I don't really know, that was meant to be funny. Anyway, <laughs> I'm moving on, the uh, Jack, not Jack of Diamonds, the Ace of Diamonds, again a dragon hugging another. Basically they're all hugging the pips, which is cool. I like, I probably like, hmm, let's get to the last one. Uh, that, I dropped the card. Very professional. Ah, there we go. That's the back design. The Ace of Clubs looking like this. Yeah, okay, I've made my mind up. <laughs> Ace of Clubs is by far the best dragon. Yeah, we'll, we'll forget those ones. Ace of Clubs takes the main ace of all aces. Look at that, like a dragon hugging the Ace of Clubs all the way around with his head poking at the bottom, which is such, 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 blah, blah, blah. such a cool touch. I really like that. Man, that's an Instagram photo, I think. Might have to put that on Instagram. By the way, follow me down on Instagram down below. I've left a link to all my socials. And uh, yeah. So that's pretty much everything I can say about the cards. Um, you're probably wondering how do they feel. Well, I'm not actually going to give a rating nor how they feel on this on these cards because this is only a prototype deck, so it wouldn't be fair. But I'm going to rate what the designs look like, and I'll probably give the designs about a, an 8 out of 10. There's not much that I don't like about this deck of cards. The only downside is, of course, how you fan them and you get all black. But I love how it covers it if you get half the deck and you get the, um, that was a really bad fan, let me do that again. You get the, um, the like the, the spades, the uh, dragon's tail showing through on half the deck, which is a really cool touch. Um, I personally like that. Um, and yeah, the cards, this is just a prototype deck, yet they feel really nice. Um, so I can't wait what the real deal will look like. Um, but yeah, and also another thing, when you spin the card, if you saw like in the trailer, when you're spinning, they look perfect for spin fans. If you know what revolution, the revolution card is, it's basically a magic trick, and it's when he spins it on his finger. These cards, would be perfect for that. If you know, if you're a magician and you know what I mean, then you know. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah. With that all being said, guys, if you're wondering what is this perfect for, I would say this, I personally wouldn't use this for magic. That's just me because I think personally, if you got a spectator, pick a card. Like, yeah, you can see that quite well, but 
like they might get confused if that's a spade or not like it doesn't pop out as much on the um, clubs and spades which is fine I would personally use this for poker like not poker but card games and cardistry this deck is perfect for cardistry as you guys saw in the trailer the the deck was in action which was yeah, I just, I can't recommend this enough. When I opened this, this was just a prototype deck of cards. When I first opened it, it was just, it felt amazing. And that was just a prototype deck. Imagine what the real thing's gonna be like. So uh, yeah, and I think they're gonna be printed in, I think it's uh, air cushion finish, crush stock. I'm not sure, um, all the details I've left a link down below where you can check out the Kickstarter project. It is still live. I think you've got about three weeks left from this recording. So go check that out. Links down below. Go back. it. Remember, it's 100% funded, but I highly recommend you go check it out. Like, why do you think it's already funded within like a week? Like, there's a reason for that. Go check out the deck. Um, really cool artwork design. It has a full story about the cards, about why they were created and how it's actually um, the girl who created them I think her husband or something died so she created them for him but he died or something like that go check out the story I read it but I kind of forgot half the story um, I'm gonna actually go and read it again so I can get full information on it I've left the link down below where you can read it um, I want to thank Byworthy for sending me this deck so I can give you guys a quality review. Um, thanks very much for that, Josh and Byworthy team. I also want to say this deck of cards. Mic drop is amazing. Um, yeah, no, I highly recommend it for cardistry. It's, it is a good deck for cardistry. Hey, what are you doing? The review's over. Go, go click my socials or check out the link in bio. Yeah, what are you doing? No, no, no. Oh, you're still here because you want to watch me put them back in the tuck case. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. But you're still here. Oh, hey, you want to know what that special secret announcement is? Oh, wow. Yeah, I said that in my other video. Yeah, lots happened. Um, let's just say, uh, well, quality content has gone up if you haven't tell, if you couldn't tell already. But uh, yeah, um, there's some exciting stuff coming up. I can't say too much, but uh, there's some exciting stuff coming out.